good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so I'm gonna be honest. This is the second time I'm recording this video. I honestly don't know which one I'm gonna post. But if you see this one, hey. So today. I might post both of both of them just because I need to. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie. I'm just trying to get comfortable with doing this. I'm trying to make sure everything right. So trial and error. Like they said, I ain't got nobody watching this right now, so we're gonna see. We're gonna do a couple of short videos, we're gonna do a couple of long videos. I said for this month I wanted to have 25 videos done. I'm already behind schedule, so yeah, we gotta get it done. Um, I got my little ring light. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, so this thing is bright. Oh, that's cute. This thing is bright. See. Yeah, this thing get bright. Okay, so we don't know the video. Like I said, I just want to be me. So I have a lot of videos up about hair on my face. Um, over the past couple of days, yes, I say days. I've been looking at different stuff, like to try to help. Like I've been trying to keep it shaved because we don't have to wear our mask at work no more. But. I hate it with a passion. Like, I hate shaving. Um, I seen something on YouTube about um, um, shave powder. So, I might try that. A lot of people say it's pink. So, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I recently just bought some more protein powders. Let's see. Oh shit, you can't see me. Okay, so I just brought some protein powder. And I'm curious, like this one, I've used it before. I like it. It tastes kind of good. Like, I don't like chocolate, so I try to get vanilla. Like, I seriously don't like chocolate at all. Um, yes, I use some chocolate, but I don't like pure chocolate. And anything that tastes like chocolate, I don't get it. I, I, I don't like chocolate. Um, but I got this, and it comes in the vanilla flavor. Meal replacement. It's a plant protein. And it actually tastes good. Like, I'm new to protein shakes. Meaning, like, I just started last year. Seriously. So, and it tastes good. Now, online, um, this one. I don't know. Like, I'm not a trainer or whatever. So, I can't honestly give you, like, a 100% review of it. Because, again, I just started looking at them. And this is one I seen online. Oop, you can't see that. Oh, well, hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I seen this one online. And that's why I got this one because some of the other ones <coughs> that I got. <coughs> Whew, excuse me. Some of the other ones that I got, I don't necessarily like. Um, one of them I got it. The aftertaste of it <coughs> was the taste was the flavor and and another reason I didn't like it is because when you mix it with water, it settles like. I've, I've learned that almond milk is good when you have protein shakes because, in my personal opinion, they mix better and they taste better. Like, I understand sometimes, some circumstances, um, you can only have water. 
So maybe if I find one that's water soluble, um, then okay, I might go with that one. But the uh, other one, no, it wasn't. This one, this uh, meal replacement, I don't think I tried this one in water. Um, but like I said, I stick with the almond milk. I tried coconut milk, but that's a little sweet. I like the unsweet almond milk, or I'll get the unsweet vanilla almond milk, but that coconut milk is nasty. And I don't, oh. right, anyway, yeah, so, yeah. This is all I do, sit in the house all day. I go to work, um, I'm trying to quit. Hopefully, you love me enough to help. <laughs> <laughs> one day, right? One day. It's so quiet. Like, sometimes I wonder if my neighbors can hear me. And other days, I really don't care. Because, like, when you... Listen, it's an echo. It's an echo in my house. Why? I don't have any furniture. So, that's why it's an echo. Um, one, I never bought furniture. I never wanted furniture because I didn't want to stay. I didn't know how long I was going to stay here. I knew I had to finish my lease. And then my lease is up, I can move whenever I want to. So that's my next move. My next move is I'm trying to move to Texas. I'm trying to, I guess you could say settle in Texas. Like when I moved here, it was for my healing. When I moved to, when I moved away from Richmond, and it's crazy. I'm trying to go back to Richmond, just not Virginia. When I moved away from Richmond, like, I was moving away from drama, from stress. And I really left all that behind. Like, don't get me wrong. Up until this year, yes, I was holding on to it. But I let it go. Like, it's... That was the best thing that you can do or that I could do was, was move on and learn how to love myself. You know? That was the smartest thing I could have did. You know, like, <sighs> in 2017, in 2017, I lost my mom and my brother. I lost my brother two days before my birthday. And I lost my mom five months and 17 days later. I'm like, it hurt. And I honestly blame myself. I feel like if I had to act different, my past would still be here. But at the same time, my past was taken away from me for a reason, because even though they was taken away from me, I still went through situations I would have went through with them. Like, I've done things. <laughs> I've done things, and if I had to did those things with my brother, I would still be doing those things. Now, being the I wasn't able to do those things with my brother. I was able to do those things with somebody that I was able to let go. When I let that person go, when I finally woke up and seen, you know, what I was doing and what I was becoming, I was able to let it go. Versus with my brother, if... If my brother was still here, like, none of this would be going on. None of this. Me out here alone, finding myself. Me out here growing up, I wouldn't be doing it. And yes, it, it, it took me a while to realize that, but I think when I realized that, that's when my, my, my healing <clears throat> started to come into effect. You know, it's like, I miss my brother. I miss I miss my brother the most. Anybody that know me, if you know me, you already know. <laughs> That's my brother. 
I don't like my mom, but like I said, you gotta know me. If you don't know me, you can't speak on my mom. But I I tell anybody I don't like my mom. Before my mom passed, I cussed her out on Facebook. Yes, I did. After my brother passed, I cussed her out. I didn't care. I mean, it might be fucked up that I don't. I still don't care. But like I said, like my mom gone. My mom was here. We'd be arguing. So I'm not about to be fake and you know make up a, a persona. Oh, I'm this and I'm no. It's gonna be the same. Which y'all said, keep that same. I got that same energy. Like yes, I miss my mom. Yes. Like I I could really use my mom right now. Like it's hard not having an older female to talk to that been through the shit. I cussed my mama out for it now. I don't have her here to to talk about it. I'm not gonna sit here and say love your mom. I'm not gonna sit here and say that. I'm not gonna sit here and, and say go apologize to your mom because at the end of the day, my mom could have done better. I tried. It just hurt because I don't have her when I need her. But hey, <clears throat> again, if my mom was here, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing all of this. I wouldn't be here. That's why I need her because if she was here, I wouldn't be doing it. I would still be back home. Laid up under somebody, barely working, like. <sighs> Shit. I'm 34 years old, and I'm out here. Just now, I'm beginning. To accept living like a female. Now, take that lightly, because I'm not, I've never questioned myself, but. Again, if you know me, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I don't care. When I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. When I want to look like who did it and why, I'm going to look like who did it and why. Look. I'm sorry. Granted, I could wear a shirt. I, I had my jacket on, so you can't see it. I'm in the house. But again, when I want to look like who done it and why, I'm going to look like it. So just that's just the one. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. Mm, 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 mm. So I don't know if I've said it before, <clears throat> but my big thing is numbers. <laughs> numbers. So that's going to be something that I talk about. Um, one number I'm going to talk about now is one, two, three, four. That was before I got into my spiritual journey heavy. Uh, when I was younger, that's one number that I would always love to see. One, two, three, four. Why? Because it goes in order. You know, now as I, the, within recent years, I've learned that, you know, the one, two, three, four don't necessarily have to be one, two, three, four. It can be one, two, four, three, 12, 43. You know, it's still one, two, three, four because those numbers are still present. Um, like, <laughs> What else? Or it could be three, four, two, one, one, two, three, four. You know, like that. That number was real. It made me feel special when I seen it. And like as I got older, I understand like it's called spiritual numbers and um, angel gods and all of that. And I have a lot of that around me. You know, so <clears throat> I'm here. You know, I'm about to make these videos. I'm about to attempt to stay real. I'm about to. Show y'all who I am and give y'all my thoughts. <laughs>